días a todos. Perdona que tardé un poco en publicar este video, pero estamos muy, muy ocupados con el congreso aquí ufológico en Barcelona, que, que fue viernes, sábado y domingo. Entonces, fue por eso que, tar, que tardé un poco en, um, en, presentar, en presentaros este nuevo video. Pues hoy hablaremos del tema muy importante, eh, del, de la Matrix 3D. ¿Cómo funciona la Matrix 3D? ¿En qué se basa? Este es el tema importante para después ir, ir comprendiendo más y más de, de todo esto. Um, este tema particularmente me interesa mucho uh, porque es algo que siempre he intuido. Siempre he intuido que no solamente la sociedad, como es, que hay algo malo con la sociedad, como esas creencias, con el estilo de vida, um, pero, pero también sentí como como mi conciencia de los objetos físicos, incluso los físicos, los objetos físicos, por ejemplo, este, este peine aquí eh, feo que tengo, eh, siempre, siempre sentí que no es, no es la única realidad de este, de este, de este peine, esta aquí que estoy tocando y de cual estoy eh, consciente ahora mismo. Ahora estoy tocando, tocando este, este, este plástico y mi cerebro lo interpreta, me lo proyecciona en esta manera, en esta manera, pero, pero siempre he sentido e intuido que, que, que esto es algún, algún tipo de, de, de programación, de, de por qué yo estoy consciente de este, de este objeto de esta forma. Sentía que esta, esta forma existe uh, en algún otro plano vibratorio también, a cual yo de momento no sé por qué no tengo acceso. Siempre sentí como yo estaba atrapada dentro de esta percepción física de los objetos dentro de, de, la, de, la, de la percepción tri, tridimensional um, dentro de la realidad física um, pero siempre sentía que no es la única la única manera, ma, manera en cual esta, esta dimensión física existe y sentía como casi como no pánico interior, pero como frustración y, y, y sensación de, de estar muy atrapada dentro, dentro de esta percepción limitada, tridimensional que sentía que estaba impuesta sobre, sobre mí, que no era natural, no era natural. Vi, por ejemplo, el árbol y sentía que, ¿por qué yo estoy limitada a percibir este árbol solamente en esta manera, o percibir solamente trozos de la existencia de este árbol. Sentía que este árbol existe en alguna forma más plena, más allá. Pero no sé por qué estoy como atrapada. Algo en mi cerebro impide que yo tenga acceso a, 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 otros, a otros planos de existencia de, de este árbol. Entonces, en este video se entenderá por qué es así. Porque, y es así. Es así. Svaru me lo confirmó. Es así. Entonces, por eso... Um, Muchas cosas que ellos explican encajan tanto en mis propias eh, intuiciones que, que siempre he tenido desde, desde pequeña. Y ahora todo empieza a tomar más sentido y todo encaja, el, los puzzles encajan. Um, entonces, ese video importante, empezamos a entender más sobre la Matrix 3D. Ah, y otra cosa, vamos a vernos al final, porque al final voy a hacer un pequeño resumen del video de hoy. Uh, un pequeño resumen de los puntos más importantes. Pues, empezamos. Everything, nearly everything, 99.999% of the Milky Way, at least, is in 5D. In the same way, the Earth was and still is 5D. The 3D matrix is an imposed or superimposed computerized hologram over the 5D Earth. And your five senses can only see the hologram, not the rest, which is also there, but in 5D. It all affects you, but you can only be aware of what your limited senses can detect. The computer system was imposed there from the Lunar Space Station 12,500 years ago as a means to contain the reptilian souls by Federation forces. This at the end of the Tiamat and Mars Wars. 
the 3D matrix is connected to and using the original matrix system of operation through the law of attraction. What you truly ask for will come to you, although there are some aspects of this which are not fully known to humans yet. The matrix computers will read your thoughts and emotions and matching frequencies will come together. It's programmed that way. So control what the people believe in and you control what the matrix is manifesting as a collective reality. En este punto se ha mencionado la Matrix original, lo que también ella llama Matrix inicial. El, la Matrix original es, es otra capa de Matrix. Eh, nosotros vivimos como en una Matrix dentro de otra Matrix. Donde están ellos eh, es lo que llaman Matrix original, in, inicial, que también es algún tipo de programa, de juego, pero es más cerca de la fuente. Es más, es más, es la frecuencia más, eh, más, más, eh, más elevada y están ahí más conscientes de la operación de este juego y pueden eh, influenciarlo de la manera más consciente con su, con su mente. ¿Por qué? Porque la Matrix original reacciona a la mente, se, se programa la Matrix con la, con la mente, actúa a base de nuestras creencias e ideas, eh, solamente que aquí nosotros no estamos conscientes de esto. Y por eso nos estamos dejando llevar a, a, a manifestar una realidad a base de nuestras creencias que ellos, los, man, los negativos, nos imponen. Entonces, cuando se inició la Matrix 3D, uh, aquí, aquí habían los lirianos. Entonces, los reptilianos utilizaron uh, la Matrix y la mecánica también, incluso de la Matrix original, para imponer ideas limitantes y creencias limitantes sobre la raza que estaba aquí, los lirianos. Empezaron a controlar esta sociedad y empezar a general, generar la realidad, los resultados de cual podemos ver ahora, ahora mismo. Y, y esta manipulación reptiliana de la Matrix llamare, llamaremos el hackeo reptiliano. Y de esto hablaré también en el video aparte. Ok, step by step. So the 3D system was placed over the 5D by the Federation from the moon. You said earlier you didn't mean for it to be so hard. That's right. But placing the matrix as a control grid also made it easy to hack by the reptilian forces especially those that had access to the computers on the moon later on, transforming a normal 3D world into the hellhole it is today for most. Why did the Federation want to lock reptiles in 3D? The Federation did it to keep the inside the etheric fence because they were too wasted, depleted and tired to continue with the pursuit of reptiles on Earth as they are doing now. That's why they implemented the Stargate, the Van Allen belts that limit 3D to keep the bad reptiles in until they can return. They were very weakened at the time. Also, the entire solar system was a complete mess of debris and the ships couldn't operate properly. It was too dangerous. This because of the destruction of time and planet. And it was destroyed because the Naga reptiles were being persecuted there. The whole fight was against them. So now, with reptilians residing on Earth, Instead of destroying the planet just like they did with Tiamat, the Federation decided to set up the 3D belts, yes? Yes, because their last action brought the destruction of an entire planet, although there wasn't any civilization there at the time. It was a water planet, so it would have been a good spot to set a base camp there by the reptiles. 
Can you tell me a bit more about that time and the wars? It will give us a perspective behind setting up 3D belts around Earth after it. When the reptiles arrived on Earth about 40,000, some say 50,000 years ago, Sumerian tablets say 250,000 years ago, but they are wrong, the reptiles placed a dummy base in Tiamat to emit all kinds of dummy electromagnetic radiation. So when the Federation came after them, they could lure them into a trap in an ambush style. The Federation, pursuing the reptiles, arrived at Taimat to investigate the electromagnetic transmissions from there, and they were ambushed by the reptiles. It was a very horrible and bloody war. The Federation was desperate to end the conflict, which involved the use of nuclear and energy point zero devices that led to the destruction of the planet. Now, the Andromeda Council, a part of the larger Federation, insists that Tigetans and other races involved in the destruction of Tiamat be the ones who liberate Earth for karmic reasons. This is then another reason why we, Tigetans, have always been involved in Earth affairs, trying to clean the mess. Yes, I have always sensed that there was a deeper reason to the story, and even to why you are here. And in a way, all this makes you look even more human. People, our families, who also struggle in their lives, even commit mistakes even though I tend to believe there are no mistakes. It makes you less so new agey, sweet and all loving. It makes you real. Yes, the deeper reason is also to pay off that karma, as some say. Although I beg to differ on the concept of karma with them, something we can go into at a later time. And yes, we do make mistakes. It also makes you more real because, as I see, you differ among yourselves. We truly are one big family, trying to understand this existence and doing our best with what we have and what we understand. But please, continue with the story. After the Time Mat and Mars Wars, both sides, the Reptilians and the Federation, had taken a very hard beating, many losses. The Federation was damaged and weak. It could not continue fighting, but knowing that the reptilians were on Earth, they enclosed them there with a 3D matrix with the intention of sorting it out later. This matrix is a computer program designed as a hologram that is projected onto 5D Earth with a large and powerful hologram projector, the Moon. It's all a program, and the system is primitive digital. It's a caricature of 5D reality. Why can't you just shut it off? We can, but people there will have a very hard time adjusting, and it goes against their own free will, as it is said that souls go in there now for the thrill. And even if we did just shut it off, the 5D and all its attributes would suddenly start working. And that means that strange interdimensional animals that are there all anyway would be seen running in the streets, terrorizing little old ladies who still go to church. UFOs, most of them, ghosts, monsters and all things paranormal are the 5D part of Earth filtering through the holes in the 3D matrix program. How did projecting a 3D trap the reptilians exactly? Because holograms are not just light. When powerful enough, they are great electromagnetic energy, a force field. That force field is the Van Allen belts that surround the Earth. That's the limit of the 3D. A wall. You cannot go through that wall without technology that can control frequencies. 
as a soul, if your vibration isn't high enough, you cannot go through either. You need to ascend, to work on yourself, to have a high vibration enough to escape the fence. The souls not evolved enough will reincarnate there again. The evolved ones will escape. That's also why the negative ones don't want this information out. They don't want people escaping because they lose their slaves. Was the civilization and were there humans on Earth at the time of 3D installment? There was, and there were evolved humans on Earth. Lyrians, for example, from whom we all descend. So they got trapped too. That's sad, but it looks like that's true. The Federation expected to go back to Earth to finish the job soon, and for many complicated reasons, that is now 1200,500 years long. Okay, so please tell me how the 3D was programmed before it was hacked by the reptilians imposing their limiting beliefs. The very same way you program a video game with interactive capability. You design a virtual world in your imagination using CGI graphics. You also create it not with a mouse and screen, but with thought-to-computer interface. The computer goes reading what you want and where you want anything. You move it with your hands and thought. It's creative. The rules didn't include making you a slave of anyone else twisting the program to fit their needs. The system was flawed, it got intervened and hacked. Things like fast aging, for example. They are not part of the matrix directly, but programmed from the inside after it was installed, using belief patterns of and from the people. It was done using the original matrix itself and its rules, as they could not get to the computer itself that was and still is in the moon. The rules such as the law of attraction. They made the people think they were limited in order for them to age, make them believe that they had only some 85 years to live. The harshness of the environment and the world also created by them, also helps to create that belief in aging. But it's all mind, not genetic manipulation. Earth scientists insist that they found the gene that controls aging, and they are right. But what they don't see or understand is what Bruce Lipton does, that it's consciousness that turns the genes on and off even creates new ones. So the reptiles manipulated the people into manifesting a shorter lifespan. The reptiles hacked the system using mind control over the people manifesting the matrix. You mean the law of attraction is not part of this 3D matrix, but of an original matrix, correct? Yes, the law of attraction is also working here in this initial matrix. In fact, it's a lot stronger here. All the other rules come from that one, and there are so many of them. With that first law of attraction, each being immersed in it will create its own particular or personal set of rules while there. And if things look the same for all individuals, it's because people on Earth have been guided to manifest the same things using mind control to create a hive mind in order to exploit them energetically and other as best as possible, creating a farm in benefit of the reptilians. Got it. So what are the differences in 3D and 5D reality? I am not talking about the reptile changing it. Just the pure 3D holographic world versus 5D one. I guess I'm trying to determine what from the things here is real, still exists in the 5D, 
and which things are holographically inserted. The hologram at a higher level superimposes images, yes, but it works mainly this way. It locks people's perception into a set bandwidth of perception, and that's white light bandwidth. So even if all the rest of the five components of Earth are still there, you cannot be aware of them with your five senses. Take a ruler, for example. One is a low frequency. Ten is the higher. It's all a frequency gradient from low to high. If your eyes cannot see past three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are not existing for you. Okay, so it's mostly limiting the perception, not inserting false images. Just limiting the perception of these images, right? Both. Sometimes imposing an image, but mostly restricting what you can see. From 5D, you can see everything in the frequency range of 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, but not 6 and above. So there, in 3D, you cannot see 4 and 5. How does the 3D differ from 5D? It's still the same object, yes? Chair is a chair, shoe is still a shoe? Yes, shoe is a shoe, because they are both an original matrix. A chair is a chair here in 5D. And it's the same in 3D, because 3D matrix was created as a copy of 5D matrix. And the tree? A tree is a tree, but it's a higher vibration. Now, what's that vibration thing exactly? A vibration or a density are the oscillations per second of manifested matter. Look at the fan. When it stopped, you can see the blades. But when on and going fast, the blades are a blur, go faster. They will disappear from your sight entirely, but they are still there. So, in order to stop someone from seeing past 3D, they must keep them suppressed in a lower frequency state. We also have the original 5D matrix imposing things on the people of Earth, things that as they are suppressed they cannot see, but still are there to affect you. I have always felt deep frustration of being trapped to perceive objects only in the way my brain decodes them here. And I always knew deep inside they also exist in another way, in that higher oscillatory rate as you described. I touched the wood and it's just very limiting 3D wood. I have always sensed that there was something wrong and that this is not the only way things exist. What you describe doesn't mean you miss what you remember and know you are limited now. Things feel a lot more real in 5D. Colors are stronger and there are more of them. You feel more in touch with your surroundings and with everything, not only living things. Now, how does the suppression in 3D work? The moon transmits a frequency that suppresses your capacity to see certain frequencies. When you have a frequency, let's say 7.62 MHz, how do you suppress it? You tell me. To suppress it, you transmit another frequency that matches it, but at the opposite, minus 7.62 MHz. So 7.62 plus minus 7.62 equals zero. That's how the moon cancels out the frequencies they don't want you to see and perceive. It's called destructive interference. That's deep science for me there. That frequency suppression using destructive interference will limit people's perception to 3D, 
or only in the frequency range ruler of 1, 2 and 3. Ghosts and other things are in 4, lower astral. So some things do leak into 3D. The suppression is not perfect. I always knew something is wrong with this reality. I am walking within the shadow of myself, virtual reality avatar of myself. Exactly. When deep in that state, people get so disconnected from their higher self, their source, only acting out the program from the matrix, making them do the same things over and over, day after day, that they literally can lose their souls. The higher self loses interest in being in these individuals. Oh, wow. We will need to get into that more too in the future. So now, the lunar computers, are they really computers or I imagine it is something vastly more advanced from what we can imagine, right? They are literal digital computers using a primitive binary system. They are controlled by very old and dangerous nuclear reactors based on uranium and they are toxic, ionizing radiation. The computers control the electromagnetic generators. They dictate the exact frequency they emit, when and where, because the matrix is not uniformly set. It's different for each region. Why is it different for each region? And which region has the most and the least matrix? Most matrix, USA and Europe. Least matrix, regions of Africa, Brazil and Asia. Mostly where there is a lot of nature. That's where it receives less electromagnetic influence. But why was it designed to emit more matrix in some regions? It was not designed that way. The system is failing, so they are conserving and managing energy. The system initially consisted of 12 nuclear reactors, uranium, but 8 of them are disabled now. Now only 4 remain online. They are old and may fail suddenly, creating a problem. This Lintiplex technicians are now on the problem and how to feed the system with an alternate source of power. So the system is weak. It's 1200,500 years old. It's failing and people down there are experiencing many glitches. Okay, now can we get out of the 3D matrix perception using only our mind? Since it is installed through some kind of technology. Yes. When the consciousness level is high enough, it will in itself automatically adjust the matrix to 5D, with this liberating the people to the original 5D natural matrix. As the wants of the people manifest what the matrix gives them, it will automatically manifest 5D for them, if that's what they want. If we turn it off manually now, then all we will have is chaos, as most of the people are not ready for 5D. Okay, so from what I understand, we are multidimensional, and as with the ruler example, we already are in the 5D. It's just our range of perception that has been shut off. All the other numbers are there already, 4, 5, 6, etc. In a way, we are already there, right? We do exist in our fifth dimensional state and higher. It's just a matter of widening the perception to include that, right? Right. It's what you want to perceive that counts. And so, as I said before, and it is vital to understand, people are not limited artificially. They are only limited by their own beliefs. They are in a prison for their minds, as Morpheus said in a brilliant movie, The Matrix. So even if it is maintained technologically, the 3D installment, our consciousness can bypass it, correct? Consciousness is not in the body, 
It works through the body. You are not there. You are only perceiving there now. So it cannot be contained. That's why the only thing that limits humans is the idea that they are limited. And that's the part done by the reptilians hacking the system. If we are descendants of Lyrians and they were here at the moment of 3D installment, how come that they forgot who they are, we are, and they, the reptiles, somehow even managed to use the matrix against them? They were supposed to be trapped in their perception too. Because they are the ones that are hacking the system and they never were lied to about reality. Their consciousness wasn't given the idea of being limited. The 3D trap was meant for the reptiles. The limited exploiting ideas then were set by the reptiles to exploit the Lyrian people. That's the hack. The 3D frequency and the ideas limit the memory. Trapped in a memory loss perception, that's all part of the idea of being limited. All your past life's memory is still within you now because it's not stored in the body. Okay, trying to wrap my head around this. Why do the reptiles want to keep us generating the matrix if they want to escape it too? Because the matrix is working in great percentage to their favor. And, and they do want to escape, so they can be free, as they have been imprisoned there for 1,200,500 years. They have been hard at work for all this time. Why not let us go? I mean, if they could let us go, raise our frequency, we could all get out. Many are doing precisely that. The reptilians are now split into two factions the ones that want to cooperate and the ones that want to fight until the bitter end. Okay, changing the subject. If we go beyond the Van Allen belt, could we access the 5D automatically? Yes, as you go beyond Van Allen belt, you are automatically in 5D. The trick is get out. But yes, as you go out, you find yourself in 5D then you remember it all and it all makes sense. You said the trick is how to get out. So how did the reptiles manage to get out if they were trapped? Portals? Yes, although they are mostly stopped from using portals now, they still do in a limited way. Spaceflight, on the other hand, is forbidden for them. How did they reach the portal technology? Because they were 3D trapped, left with nothing, no resources, and managed to somehow grow back to power. They took 12,500 years to find and develop enough technology to get out. Even the Nazis and their obsession with antiquities and the esoteric, what they always wanted was to find the old and hidden artifacts and technology buried since long ago, technology lost since Atlantis was destroyed. Okay, do you know or can you foresee when the 3D installment will be off completely? Any forecast time-wise? No forecast possible, because the real nature of space-time doesn't permit a clear forecast. But I can say that in 10 years or less, the world will be unrecognizable in a good way. Okay, great. Now, the last question, perhaps a little indiscreet if I may. Aren't you perhaps turning off the 3D matrix little by little from up there? Like turning it up 3D, then 3.1, 3.2, etc. I mean, Time is speeding up, people are waking up, something is going on. We are turning the knob slowly, turning the 3D off. I knew it! 
Can I tell the people? They will be happy. Yes, it's okay to tell them. And at what grade are we now? 3.2, 3.5? You are all, in average, at the border with what you call fourth density. Our team is slowly increasing the frequency. And this besides the fact that the whole quadrant is ascending to the fifth density anyway, literally moving a dial on a console. That's why so many people are awakening and so many people are seeing strange creatures and strange things are happening all over the place because 3D is now overlapping with 4D lower astral. But then, I understand it's important to make it clear also that it's not all in the hands of technology. The cooperation of our mind is as important, if not more, right? It's the effort from both sides. Our consciousness is key. Yes, yes, they, the people, must be the change. The people mustn't sit and wait. They must be 5D now. You must be the new world, not wait for it to happen. The people are the event they are waiting for. Their mind is the key. Gracias por escuchar el video y gracias por llegar hasta aquí. Ahora me gustaría hacer un pequeño resumen de los puntos más importantes para que se entienda muy bien. Primero, la Matrix 3D se ha instalado aquí en la Tierra sobre la Tierra 5D ya existente hace más o menos 12.500 años. Uh, se ha instalado esta, esta barrera para, para, para capturar a los reptilianos principalmente porque la federación era muy, muy débil en este momento para seguir luchando contra, contra ellos. Segundo, la manera como funcionó era que se ha puesto una, una barrera etérica alrededor de la tierra eh, más allá de cual no se, no se pudo salir. Eh, pero principalmente la barrera era perceptual, entonces um, han, han cerrado de alguna manera eh, cierto rango de, de, la, de la frecuencia eh, de nuestra percepción, entonces no se pudo acceder a la, a la percepción, a la conciencia de, de, la, de las cosas de la realidad en su estado 5D, eh, nuestra percepción era, limi, era limitada. Uh, también, por supuesto, se pudo inserta, insertar objetos y hasta los eventos holográficamente. Y de esto hablaremos con una chica que está más especializada en este tipo de programación, de, de, de la inserción de diferentes objetos holográficos aquí en la Tierra y de los eventos. Hablaremos de esto en el video aparte. Después tenemos el hackeo de los reptiles. Repti los reptilianos presentes en este momento en, el, en, este momento en, la, en la Tierra han utilizado eh, el hecho que, que los lirianos en este momento tenían eh, la percepción un poco más cerrada um, a través de, de esta instalación 3D y utilizaron la la ley del Matrix original, eh, la ley de atracción, que básicamente genera la realidad que estamos eh, proyectando desde dentro, y también hablaré de esto aparte, utilizaron esta mecánica, utilizaron los ordenadores en la luna, entonces, y tomaron control de todo esto, empezaron a manifestar la realidad que les conviene a ellos. Utilizaron la Matrix a sus propios intereses, contra, los, el, contra las razas que estaban presentes en la Tierra. Y esto es lo que otra vez llamo uh, el hackeo reptiliano de la Matrix. Hackearon los ordenadores, lo que se puede llamar ordenadores en nuestro idioma en la Luna, pero principalmente hackearon nuestra conciencia, nuestra conciencia programadora. 
Ahora es importante mencionar que ahora mismo estos ordenadores, estos mecanismos en la luna ya no están bajo el control reptiliano, ya están bajo el control um, de los tajeteanos y de la federación. El hackeo principalmente funcionó eh, a través de, de las limitaciones de creencias de las personas. Han impuesto ciertas ideas y ciertas uh, realidades sobre la, las razas que estaban aquí y limitaron su realidad básicamente, haciéndoles sentir uh, sin poder, eh, inferior, inferior um, quitaron vuestro poder básicamente. Es como esta, esta famosa foto de elefante, que, que es un elefante animal grande, súper poderoso, pero está atado con esta cadena a, la, a una silla, a una silla que, que es nada para el elefante. Si, solamente si mueve una, un paso a la derecha, esta silla, esta silla se va. Esta silla no significa nada, no tiene ningún poder sobre este elefante. Pero el elefante está guiado, está guiado a través de entrenamiento a pensar que la CIA es más poderosa que él mismo. Pero la verdad es que esto es totalmente, totalmente al revés. Y esta es la realidad que tenemos que uh, ir recuperando, porque es nuestro derecho. Es lo que somos, es que ni es derecho, simplemente es así, es la realidad. Somos poderosos y somos todos, somos creadores mismos, somos la fuente. Y, y no pueden tener ninguna, ningún poder sobre nosotros. Ah, es el tiempo de, 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 de ir reprogramando nuestras creencias. Que por cierto, esto empieza con de, de programación de, de todas nuestras creencias. Y la realidad es algo que Svaru siempre, pero siempre me repite. La única idea que nos limita aquí es que estamos limitados. Y no lo somos. No lo somos en ninguna manera. Incluso ni estamos limitados genéticamente. Y quiero hablar de esto también en detalle en el futuro, pero Svaru me lo dijo muy claramente. No estamos interferidos genéticamente para limitarnos. Fue todo manipulación de la conciencia a través de las ideas. Se nos ha limitado mentalmente. La genética no tiene el poder sobre nuestra conciencia. Es totalmente al revés. Es la conciencia que domina la genética. Entonces es el tiempo a, a despertar a esto. No seamos esclavos de nuestra genética y de nuestra creencia a pensar que es la genética que nos domina y que, y que fuimos interferidos por los seres negativos genéticamente. Entonces, ¿qué podemos hacer? Es que nada, es que porque nos, nos han cerrado genéticamente y esto no podemos cambiar, entonces somos oh, pobres víctimas. Que no, que sí, que, que somos pobres de alguna manera, pero es el tiempo de descubrir que no somos víctimas y que no fuimos interferidos genéticamente, que la genética reacciona a nuestra conciencia, nuestra programación mental, y no, y no al revés. Ahora, si subimos nuestra frecuencia a lo alto sufici suficientemente y nos empezamos a liberar poco a poco de todas estas creencias limitantes, automáticamente, esto me lo dijo Svaru, bueno, todo lo que digo es, es lo que me dice Svaru, no miren de mí, pero me dijo claramente, si esto pasa, si nos elevamos, si nos empezamos a liberar poco a poco, um, esto ajustará la Matrix automáticamente a 5D, porque así fue programado a reaccionar a lo que, a lo que genera nuestra conciencia. Si nuestra conciencia empieza a vibrar en la frecuencia 5D, afuera de todos estos límites, la Matrix ajustará automáticamente la realidad a la 5D y así nos liberará a nuestro estado más natural, porque 5D es nuestro estado más natural, claro, en este modo, en este plano material, porque hay planos más etéricos, como ya dije en el primer video. Sí, con su ayuda de, los, de las tajeteanas y otras razas que están allí eh, ayudando, con su ayuda desde allí y con su ayuda en los pequeños ajustes en, la, en las frecuencias y con nosotros aquí, con nuestro esfuerzo y nuestro trabajo desde aquí, desde el interior, manifestando nuevas creencias, um, juntos marcaremos, eh, mar marcaremos el nuevo camino y juntos nos vamos a liberar y vamos a unirnos 
con, uh, con, con ellos, volveremos a casa, porque es lo que quieren. Siempre me dices, Barú, despierten ya, vuelven a casa, es vuestro, vuestro hogar. Estamos echados de menos por ahí. Uh, y y as, como sabemos, nosotros echamos de menos estar, estar ahí, eh, en, esto, en este estado más elevado. Pues es el tiempo, es el tiempo, y es el tiempo muy emocionante. Uh, pues, hasta la próxima, en el próximo video vamos a hablar un poco más del Matrix 3D con nuestra es especialista de, de esta mecánica 3D. También explicaré Matrix original, uh, el hackeo de Matrix y después ya empezaremos con las claves, las claves más prácticas para, para salir de la Matrix. Muchas gracias a todos por aguantar este video, tal vez un poco largo. Eh, y hasta la próxima. Hasta luego.